Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining Catherine and me for this special and somewhat unprecedented occasion. Perhaps the first thing I should do is to apologise for appearing in military uniform with such unmilitarily long hair. These are strange times indeed. But I do hope their Lordships of the Admiralty might forgive me just this once. After all, it is for an extremely important reason. And not just because today is the 75th anniversary of VE Day, extremely significant though that is. No, the reason is this. Next Monday, after seven years as Deputy Bailiff and eight years as Bailiff, Sir Richard Collis will finally hand over the ermine robes of office to his successor, Richard McMahon. The position of Bailiff is an ancient one, dating back until at least the 13th century, and originally charged with preserving the territory of these islands for the Duke of Normandy, and with upholding the laws of Normandy. Although these responsibilities have evolved significantly since, it remains a position that lies not only at the centre of our systems of legislation and justice, but also at the very heart of the bailiwick's Anglo-Norman heritage and traditions, as well as the centre of our community and civic life. Sir Richard has been Guernsey's 89th bailiff, and I'm sure you will all agree with me that without doubt, he has earned the right to be considered alongside the very best of his illustrious predecessors. In his career as an advocate, Sir Richard was described by no less than Lord Sumption of the Supreme Court as one of the most impressive lawyers of the islands. In judicial office, his legal courage and integrity, alongside his careful analysis and clear judgment, have set the finest of examples in his role as the head of Guernsey's judiciary. Under his custodianship, the reputation of our island's legal system has arguably never stood higher than it does today. He has likewise presided over the states of Guernsey with all the gravitas, dignity and authority that that role demands, but invariably tempered by a sense of gentle wisdom, tact, patience and boundless good humour, and has always endeavoured to foster the inclusivity and respect so essential to the proper workings of our assembly. More broadly, his support to the community has been almost boundless. The simple truth of the matter is that we would be here well into the evening if I were to list all that he has done for the various civic, professional and charitable organisations that have benefited from his patronage and help. Many will, I have no doubt, be marking his departure separately, and I know that he will maintain his close ties with a number of others. Nonetheless, can I take this particular moment on behalf of them all to offer a most sincere and heartfelt thanks. And Sir Richard has been equally committed and active in sustaining and enhancing Guernsey's reputation internationally. Most notably, of course, through his legal network, but also through his ardent support for island sport, including his role as number one travelling cheerleader for our island games team, his work to foster our Norman heritage and cultural links, and his Commonwealth and parliamentary associations. But above all else, and notwithstanding this extraordinary litany of outstanding contribution to our islands, Sir Richard is, and will always be remembered as, a passionate Guernseyman, hardwired to the soul and conscience of the bailiwick. I know of no one who has a better understanding of, or a greater affection for, our islands, our traditions and our people than Sir Richard. We have been most fortunate indeed to have him at the helm of our community for the past eight years. Finally, on a personal note, I would like to say thank you, Richard, not only for being rash enough to ask me to serve as Lieutenant Governor, but particularly for all the advice and insight you have given me and Catherine as we have sought to understand our own role in the extraordinary life of this extraordinary place. It's been an enormous privilege and pleasure to work alongside you this past four years. And now for the high risk part of this production, I'd like to ask Catherine and Milo to join me for the final toast. That's a good point. So Richard, on behalf of the whole bailiwick, on behalf of everybody who you've touched during your remarkable career, we'd like to wish you and your family all the very best and a final toast to Sir Richard Collis, Monsieur Le Bailly. Richard. Richard. Bon retreat, sir. Happy retirement. Hope you have a long and happy retirement.
One retreat. Cheers, Mr. Bailiff. Have an amazing retirement. You really deserve it. We're absolutely going to miss you so much. And I just wanted to finally prove that the fact that we only drink champagne at Government House is a total myth. Cheers. Cheers, St. Richard, and good health. Cheers, Sir Richard. Wishing you a long and happy retirement. Happy retirement, Sir Richard. Enjoy the time off. Congratulations. Wish you all the best for a long and happy retirement. All the best, Sir Richard. Congratulations, Richard. Good luck. And so. Sir Richard, Sante, your good health. Cheers and enjoy your retirement.